السلام علیکم اسٹوڈینٹس میں آپ سب کو ویکٹر اینڈ ٹینسر انالیسس کے آج کے لیسن میں ویلکم کرتا ہوں اور ٹوڈیز لیکچر از بیسڈ آن دا سولوشن آف ان سالوڈ پرابلمس آف چیپٹر تھری ہمارا چیپٹر تھری ہے ویکٹر ڈفرینسیشن اینڈ انٹیگریشن اور یہ لیکچر ویکٹر کیلکولس کا ایک بہت ہی امپورٹنٹ لیکچر ہوگا اوکے تو آج کے لیکچر میں ہم دیکھیں گے کہ ہم کیلکولس کے فنڈامنٹل کانسیپٹس لائک لمٹس کنٹینیوٹی ڈفرینسیشن ان انٹیگریشن کو ویکٹر فنکشنس کے لیے کیسے اپلائی کر سکتے اوکے سو لیٹس اسٹارٹ ود دا سولوشن آف ان سالوڈ پرابلمس آف چیپٹر تھری سو دس از پرابلم ون فائنڈ دا ڈومینس آف دا فالوئنگ ویکٹر فنکشنس So let's start with the solution of this problem. So we will consider our first vector function which is a of t equals 1 over t i plus 1 over t minus 1 j. So here a of t is a vector function of the variable t. Here 1 over t is i component of this vector function and 1 over t minus 1 is its j component. The domain of this vector function a of t will be the set of all the values of t for which each of its component functions is defined. Okay? So in order to find the domain of this function, first of all we will see where its i component 1 over t is defined and where its j component 1 over t minus 1 is defined. Okay? So the domain of a vector function a of t is the set of all the values of t for which each of its component functions is defined okay and the domain of a vector function is determined by finding the domain of its component functions the domain of a vector function a of t is determined by finding the domain of its component functions. Okay, so here the i component function of this vector function, so i component function one over t is not defined at t equals zero. Similarly, j component function one over t minus one is not defined at 
t equals 1 okay hence our vector function will also not be defined at t is equal to 0 or t equals 1 okay hence a of t is not defined at t equals 0 or t equals 1. So, it is defined at all real values of t except t is equal to 0 or t is equal to 1. Okay, Hence, the domain of this vector function a of t is the set of all real values of t such that t is not equal to such that t is not equal to 0 or 1. So, this is the domain of the vector function a of t. So, ye hamara problem 1 ka second part hai aur yahan pe hame jo vector function a of t diya hua hai wo hai 1 over t square minus 1i plus t square minus 1j aur hamne is vector function ki domain find karni hai so jaisa ki humne first part mein dekha tha kisi bhi vector function ki domain find karne ke liye hum iske component functions ki domains find karenge okay so here i component function one over t square minus one is not defined at t equals minus one or one because at these values its denominator is 0 and it is undefined and j component function t square minus 1 is defined for all values of t Okay, so its j component function is defined everywhere. Okay, hence a of t is defined for all values of t such that t is not equal to minus 1 or 1. Hence, the domain of this vector function a of t is the set of all real values of t such that t is not equal to minus 1 or 1. Now this is third part of our problem number one. So here the vector function a of t is equal to log t i plus log 1 minus t j. So again yahan pe bhi hum is vector function ki domain find karne ke liye iske component functions ki domain ko find karenge. Okay so here i component function log t is defined for all t which is greater than 0 okay so log t is defined for all t greater than 0 or for all positive values of t in j component function log 1 minus t 
is defined where 1 minus t is positive or t is less than 1 okay hence the vector function a of t is defined for t greater than 0 and t less than 1 okay or it is defined for all the values of t which lie between 0 and 1 hence the domain of this vector function a of t is the set of all real values of t such that t lies between 0 and 1 okay so t is greater than 0 and less than 1 so this is the domain of this vector function now this is problem 2 find the following limits is problem mein humne given vector functions ki limits find karni hai so we start with the first limit so here limit as t approaches 0 of cos square t i plus 25 t cube j plus 10 t k so we have to find the limit of this vector function so again to calculate the limit of a vector function we take the limit of each of its component functions so this will be equal to limit as t approaches 0 of cos square t times i plus limit as t approaches 0 of 25t cube j plus limit as t approaches 0 of 10t times k okay so if we simplify it so again if we apply the limits over here so we get cos square of 0 times i plus 25 times 0 cube times j plus 10 of 0 times k so so we get this by applying the limit so which simplifies to cos of 0 is 1 to 1 square is 1 to 1 times i plus 0 j plus 0 k so which is equal to unit vector i okay so our limit is equal to i so now we move on to the next limit so now this is our second limit limit as t approaches 0 of sin t over t i plus log 3 plus t j so on taking the limit of each component function so we get limit as t approaches 0 of sin t over t times i plus limit as t approaches 0 of log of 3 plus t times j okay now the limit as t approaches 0 of sin t over t as we already know is 1 so this is this limit is 1 then 1 times i and by applying the limit as t approaches 0 of log of 3 plus t we get log of 3 plus 0 j so which is equal to i plus log of 3 plus 0 j so which is 
आई ए प्लस लॉग ऑफ थ्री जे ओके सो दिस इज आवर लिमिट ओवर हेयर सो दिस इज द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम टू एंड हेयर वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द लिमिट एज टी ओ प्रोचेस पाए ऑफ सेकेंड टी आई प्लस कॉज टी जे प्लस टेन टी के सो अगेन वी विल अप्लाई द लिमिट कंपोनेंट वाइज सो वी टेक द लिमिट ऑफ ईच कंपोनेंट फंक्शन सो लिमिट टी ए प्रोचेस पाए ऑफ सेकेंड टी टाइम्स आई प्लस लिमिट एस टी अप्रोचेस पाए ऑफ कॉज टी जे प्लस लिमिट एस टी अप्रोचेस पाए ऑफ टेन टी टाइम्स के सो नाउ बाई अप्लाइंग द लिमिट्स वी गेट सेकेंड पाए टाइम्स आई प्लस कॉज पाए times j plus tan pi times k so which is equal to minus 1 times i plus minus 1 times j plus 0 times k so which simplifies to minus i minus j so this is the required limit so this is problem number 3 test the continuity of the following vector functions so in this problem we have to check for the continuity of the given vector functions so our first vector function is a of t equals cos t i minus 2 t square j plus e to the power t k so we have to check for which values of this vector function is continuous so we will use the component test for the continuity of a vector function okay so we will use component test for continuity okay so to check the continuity of a vector function we check the continuity of each of its component functions okay so here the i component function the i component function which is cos t so cos t is defined in continuous for all values of t okay so it is continuous everywhere now the j component function the j component function minus 2 t square is also defined and continuous for all t's okay so it is continuous everywhere and k component function e to the power t is also defined in continuous continuous for all t so as each of the component of this vector function is continuous for 
all values of t hence the vector function a of t is also continuous for all values of t so hence the vector function a of t is continuous for all values of t okay so we can also say that the vector function a of t is continuous everywhere so it is continuous everywhere now we have to check the continuity of this second vector function so again we will check the continuity of each of its component functions so here the i component function t is defined and continuous everywhere or for all t and j component function is also defined and continuous for all t defined and continuous for all t but here k component function one over t is not continuous at t equals 0 as the k component of our vector function a of t is not continuous at t equals 0 hence our vector function a of t is not continuous at t equals 0 So now we come to the problem number four. For what values of a, b, and c is the following vector function continuous at t equals two? So here we have to suppose that our fun vector function a of t is continuous at t equals two. So it is given, and we have to find out the unknowns a, b, and c over here. So let's start. with the solution of this problem so now what is the definition of a continuous function so a vector function a of t is continuous at t equals t not if the limit as t approaches t not of a of t is equal to a of t not okay so this is the definition of continuity of a vector function so a vector function a of t is said to be continuous at the value of t t equals t not if the limit of the vector function at that value exists and the function is defined at that value and its limit is equal to the value of the function so now our given vector function a of t is continuous at t equals 2 okay so this means so here
our vector function is continuous at 2 so here limit as t approaches 2 of a of t must be equal to a of 2 okay so what is the limit as t approaches 2 of the vector function a of t okay so we will write limit as t approaches 2 of the vector function a of t so now we will substitute the value of our vector function which is a plus 2b plus 3c times t square i plus 2a minus b t cube j plus c k so this limit must be equal to the vector function evaluated at t equals 2. Now if we apply the limit so we get a plus 2b plus 3c times 2 square into i plus 2a minus b times 2 cube times j plus c k and a of 2 as you can see so at t equals 2 a of t equals i plus 2 j plus 3 k okay so a of 2 will be equal to i plus 2 j plus 3 k so a of 2 is i plus 2 j plus 3 k okay so now we can simplify it a little further so we will simplify the left hand side so a plus 2b plus 3c times 4i plus 2a minus b times 8j plus ck which is equal to i plus 2j plus 3k now on simplifying the left hand side further we get 4a plus 8b plus 12c times i plus 16a minus 8b times j plus ck is equal to i plus 2j plus 3k so here we get two equal vectors the vector on the left hand side is equal to the vector on the right hand side so we can compare the components of the vectors so by comparing the components of vectors on both sides So we get 4a plus 8b plus 12c must be equal to 1 because the ith component on the right hand side is 1 and 16a minus 8b must be equal to the j component on the right hand side which is 2 and c must be equal to 3. Okay, so here we have already found the value of c which is 3. So now we will plug this value into this equation. Let us call this equation 1 and this equation is 2. So now putting the value of c in 1, put c equals 3 in equation 1. So we get 4a plus 8b plus 12 times 3 equals 1 which is equal to 4a plus 8b plus 36 is equal to 1 4a plus 8b equals minus 35 so let us call this equation as equation 3 
okay so now we will solve equation 2 and equation 3 simultaneously for a and b okay so we will solve 2 and 3 now solve 2 and 3 simultaneously so our equation 2 is 16a minus 8b equals 2 and equation 3 is 4a plus 8b equals minus 35 okay so if we add these two equations so now add so if we add these two equations so we get 20a equals minus 33 so from here we get a equals minus 33 over 20 okay so this is the value of a now if we plug this equation uh, value of a back into any of the equation 2 or 3 so we will get the value of b so now putting the value of a in equation 3 we get 4a plus 8b equals minus 35 so which gives us minus 33 over 5 plus 8b which is equal to minus 35 okay so 8b equals minus 35 plus 33 by 5 so 8b equals minus 175 plus 33 over 5 so 8b is equal to minus 142 over 5 or b equals minus 142 over 40 which simplifies to b equals minus 71 by 20 so this is the value of b so we have found the values of a b and c so here a is minus 33 by 20 b is minus 71 by 20 and c is 3 So now this is problem 5 if the vector function a equals e to the power minus t i plus log of t square plus 1 j minus 10 t k find at t equals 0 the following so humne t equals 0 pe given vector function ke derivatives find karne hai first derivative second derivative aur phir unki magnitudes find karne hai so let's start with the solution of this problem. So here our vector function a of t equals so a of t equals e to the power minus t i plus log of t square plus 1 j minus tan t k so this is our vector function a of t so in the first part we have to calculate dA by dt okay so dA by dt will be equal to so here we will find the derivative of this vector function by finding the derivative of the in individual components of this vector function okay so when we have to find the derivative of a vector function so we find the derivative of each of its component functions 
so d a by d t will be equal to so d by d t of e to the power minus t times i plus d by d t of log of t square plus 1 j minus d by d t of tan t k so d a by d t will be equal to minus e minus t i plus 1 over t square plus 1 into the derivative of t square plus 1 which is 2t times j in minus the derivative of tan t is second square t times k. Okay, so we can also write it as dA by dt equals minus e minus ti plus 2t over t square plus 1 j minus second square t k. Okay, so this is the expression for dA by dt, but we have to calculate dA by dt at t equals 0. Okay, so we have to evaluate this derivative at t equals 0. So at t equals 0, dA by dt will be equal to minus e to the power 0i plus 0 over 0 plus 1j minus second square of 0 k. So, which is equal to minus i plus 0j minus 1k. So, which is equal to minus i minus k. So, this is dA by dt at t equals 0. Okay. So, now we have to calculate in the second part d2a by dt2. So, now we have to find out the second derivative of a of t. Okay, now in the second part, we have to calculate d2a by dt2. Okay, so this will be equal to d by dt of dA by dt. So it will be the derivative of the derivative of the vector function. So this will be equal to d by dt of dA by dt. If we insert the value of dA by dt, so which is minus e minus ti. So, we have already found this expression for dA by dt previously. So, plus 2t over t square plus 1j minus second square t k. Okay, so, we have to find this derivative. So, this will be equal to minus the derivative of e to the power minus t will be e to the power minus t into minus 1 times i and plus the derivative of 2t over t square plus 1. So, here we will use the quotient rule of differentiation. So, this is so t square plus 1 as it is into derivative of 2t which is 2 minus 2t as it is into the derivative of t square plus 1 which is 2t divided by denominator square t square plus 1 squared. So, this is 
the derivative of 2t over t square plus 1 times j and minus the derivative of second square t will be equal to 2 times second t times the derivative of second t which is second t tan t times k. Okay, so if we simplify it further, so we get e to the power minus t i plus 2 t square plus 2 minus 4 t square over t square plus 1 squared times j minus 2 times second square t times tan t k so which is equal to e to the power minus t i plus 2 minus 2 t square over t square plus 1 whole squared times j minus 2 second square t times tan t k. So this is d to a by d t2. So this is second derivative. Now again we have to evaluate this derivative at t equals 0. So d to a by d t2 will be equal to e to the power 0 i plus 2 minus 0 over 0 plus 1 squared times j minus 2 times second square of 0 times tan of 0 k so which is equal to i so 1 i plus 2 j over 1 or 2 j so minus 0 k so which is equal to i plus 2j okay so this is the expression for d to a by d t2 for t equals 0 so this is our required expression so now in the third part we have to find out dA by dt mod. So as we have already calculated that dA by dt at t equals 0, dA by dt is equal to minus i minus k Okay, so the magnitude of dA by dt will be equal to minus 1 squared plus minus 1 squared whole square root so which is equal to square root of 2 units and in the fourth part we have to find out the magnitude of the second derivative of a of t. Okay, so in the fourth part, we have to calculate d to a by d t two mod. So again, d to a by d t two, as we have already calculated, as i plus two j. So here we have to find the magnitude of i plus two j, so which is equal to the magnitude of i plus 2j so which is equal to 1 squared plus 2 squared whole square root so which is equal to 1 plus 4 square root 
which is equal to square root of 5 units so this is the magnitude of d2a by d t2 so with this we come to the end of this solution to problem number 5 so now we come to the solution of problem number 6 so if a of t equals cos t i plus sin t j plus 8 k show that d a by d t dot d 2 a by d t 2 is equal to 0. So here for the given vector function we have to show that the dot product of its derivative and second derivative is 0. Okay, So let us start with the solution. So here our vector function a of t equals cos of t i plus sin t j plus 8 k. Okay, so d a by d t will be equal to minus sin t i plus cos t j plus 0 k. So here we have differentiated each component of the vector function. So we can also write it as sin t i plus cos t j. So this is the expression for d a by d t. Now we calculate its second derivative. So d 2 a by d t 2 will be equal to d by d t of d a by d t. Okay, so which is equal to d by dt of minus sin ti plus cos tj. So which is equal to minus cos ti minus sin tj. So this is the expression for d2a by d t2. So now we have to calculate the dot product of these two vectors and show that it is 0. So now d a by d t dot d 2 a by d t2 will be equal to now d a by d t is minus sin t i plus cos t j. So minus sin t i plus cos t j. So this vector dotted with d 2 a by d t 2 is minus cos t i minus sin t j. Now we have to find this dot product. So we will multiply the corresponding components of the two vectors. So we will get sin t minus sin t times minus cos t plus cos t times minus sin t so which is equal to sin t cos t minus cos t sin t which is equal to 0. Okay, so hence d a by d t dot d 2 a by d t 2 is equal to 0. So we have shown that the dot product of two vectors is 0 hence shown. Now we come to the solution of problem 7. If the vector function a equals t cube i plus 2 t cube minus 1 by 5 t square j then show that a cross d a by d t equals k. So for this vector function we have to show that the cross product of 
this vector function and its derivative equals k. So let's start with the solution again. So here our vector function a of t equals t cube i plus 2t cube minus 1 by 5t square times j. So let us find its derivative dA by dt. So this will be equal to 3t square i plus 6t square minus 1 by 5 times minus 2 t to the power minus 3 j. So which is equal to 3t square i plus 6t square plus 2 by 5t cube j. So this is dA by dt. Okay, now we find out a cross dA by dt. We find the cross product of the two vectors. So this will be equal to, now we will evaluate the cross product using the determinant i, j, k and now we will write the components of the first vector a so which are t cube and its j component is 2t cube minus 1 by 5t square and k component is 0 and dA by dt its j i component is 3t square and j component is 6t square plus 2 by 5t cube and again k component is 0. Now we expand this determinant using its third column. So we will now expanding the determinant by third column. So this will be equal to k times 2 by 2 determinant. So here we will delete first row and third column. So we will get t cube 2t cube minus 1 by 5t square and 3t square and 6t square plus 2 by 5t cube. So now this thing will be equal to k times 3 cube into 6t square plus 2 by 5t cube minus 3t square into 2t cube minus 1 by 5t square and if we simplify it so we get k times 6t to the power 5 plus 2 by 5 minus 6 t to the power 5 plus 3 by 5. So which is equal to k times 65 minus 65 will be cancelled. So we will get 6 times 2 by 5 plus 3 by 5. So k times so this is 1, so this is equal to unit vector k. Okay, so hence we have shown that the cross product of A with its derivative is equal to the unit vector k. Okay, so this is the expression that 
we had to find out so this is our problem number 8 if a and b are constants and a of t equals a cos t i plus a sin t j plus b t k then show that the mod of the cross product of first derivative and second derivative of a equals a times square root of a square plus b square okay so here let's start with the solution so our vector function a of t is a times cos t i plus a times sin t j plus b t k where a and b are constants so we have to find first of all its derivative first derivative and second derivative so let us find its derivative da by dt so this will be equal to minus a sin t times i plus a cos t j and the derivative of b t will be b so b k so this is the first derivative now second derivative will be equal to minus a cos t i minus a sin t j and the derivative of b will be zero so this is second derivative so now in the first part so we have to calculate the cross product of da by dt and d2a by dt2 so da by dt cross d2a by dt2 so this will be equal to i j k determinant and here the components of da by dt are minus a sin t a cos t and b in the components of second derivative are minus a cos t minus a sin t and its k component is 0 so we will expand this determinant again by third column so expanding expanding by third column here we get da by dt cross d2a by dt2 will be equal to k times minus a sin t a cos t minus a cos t minus a sin t and minus b times i j minus a cos t minus a sin t so here we have expanded this determinant by third column so first we take the first entry of third column which is k and multiply it with a determinant which is a 2 by 2 determinant which is obtained by deleting this row and this column and then is b the second entry is b and it is the entry of second row and third column so this will be taken as negative so negative b times the 2 by 2 determinant obtained by deleting this row and this column so this is how we expand the determinant so this is equal to 
k times so now this 2 by 2 determinant will be minus a sin t into minus a sin t so this will be equal to a square sin square t in minus now minus a cos t into a cos t so this will be plus a square cos square t in minus b times minus a sin t times i minus into minus a cos t into j to plus a cos t j okay so we can also write it as so k times a square into sin square t plus cos square t so here we have taken a square common and if we multiply minus b inside so we get plus a b sin t i minus a b cos t j so this is equal to k times a square because sin square plus sin square t plus cos square t is equal to 1 so k a square plus a b sin t i minus a b cos t j now if we rearrange the terms first we will write a b sin t i then minus a b cos t j and then a square k so this is the vector which is d a by d t cross d to a by d t2 so now we have to find the magnitude of this vector okay so d a by d t times d to a by d t2 mod so this will be equal to square root of a b sin t whole squared plus minus a b cos t squared plus a square squared okay so on expanding the squares we get a square b square sin square t plus a square b square cos square t plus a to the power 4 whole square root so square root of so if we take a square b square common so we get sin square t plus cos square t and plus a to the power 4 so which is equal to square root of a square b square plus a to the power 4 here again sin square t plus cos square t is 1 so this is equal to a square into b square plus a square square root and this is equal to a times a square plus b square square root so this is the magnitude of the cross product of da by dt and d to a by dt2 so this magnitude is equal to this so this is the result that we had to show so we have shown now for the same vector function a of t we have to show that a dot second derivative of a cross third derivative of a equals a square b t so first of all we have to take the cross product here because if, when we will take the cross products so we will get a vector and then we will take the dot product of this vector with a but if we take the dot product then we will get 
a scalar and then we cannot take the cross product of a scalar with a vector okay so first of all we have to find out the cross product of second derivative and third derivative so first of all we have to calculate the third derivative of a so d 3 a by d t 3 so this is equal to d by d t of second derivative of a as we have already calculated the second derivative of a which is minus a cos t i minus a sin t j so this is d by dt of the second derivative so which is equal to minus a times minus sin t i minus a cos t j so which is equal to a sin t i minus a cos t j so this is third derivative of vector function a okay so now we find the cross product of second derivative and third derivative so this will be equal to determinant i j k and the components of second derivative are minus a cos t and the components of second derivative are minus minus a cos t minus a sin t in 0 and the components of third derivative are a sin t minus a cos t a 0 so we have to calculate this determinant so we will expand this determinant by third column so expanding by third column so we get k times unit vector k times minus a cos t minus a sin t a sin t minus a cos t so we get this 2 by 2 determinant so we expand it further so we get k into a square cos square t plus a sin square t so which is equal to k into a square into cos square t plus sin square t so which is equal to a square k so this is is d to a by d t to cross d 3 a by d t 3 okay so now we have to find a dot this vector so this will be equal to the vector a the vector a is a cos t i plus a sin t j plus b t k so dot the cross product in the cross product was a square k okay so if we take this dot product so we will multiply the corresponding components so bt 
times a square so this is equal to a square bt hence a dot d to a by d t2 cross d3 a by d t3 is equal to a square bt so this is our required result so we have shown our required result so this is our problem number 9 if the vector function a of t equals t square i minus t j plus 2t plus 1 k in b vector is this so we have to find the following quantities we have to find the following expressions so let's start with the solution okay so our vector function a of t is t square i minus t j plus 2t plus 1 times k and the vector function b of t is 2t minus 3 i plus j minus t k so in the first part we have to calculate d by dt of a dot b so first of all we have to find out the dot product of a and b so here a dot b will be equal to t square i minus t j plus 2t plus 1 k so this vector dotted with b vector which is 2t minus 3i plus j minus t k. So we take the dot product of these two vectors. So we will multiply their corresponding components. So we will get t square times 2t minus 3, and then we will add minus t times 1 plus 2t plus 1. Times minus t, okay. So which is equal to 2t cube minus 3t square minus t minus 2t square minus t. So which is equal to 2t cube minus 5t square minus 2t. So this is a dot b. So now we will differentiate. this expression with respect to t to find d by dt of a dot b so d by dt of a dot b is equal to d by dt of 2t cube minus 5t square minus 2t so which is equal to 6t squared minus 10t minus 2, and we have to calculate this derivative at t equals 1. So this will be equal to so d by dt of a dot b will be equal to 6 minus 10 minus 2, so which is equal to minus. Six. So d by dt of a dot b is equal to minus six. Now in the second part, we have to calculate d by dt of a cross b. So as our vector function a was t square i minus t j plus two t plus one. k and the vector function b is 2t minus 3i plus j 
minus t k. So first of all, we find a cross b, the cross product of a and b. So this will be equal to i j k and determinant and now the entries the components of a are t square minus t and 2t plus 1 and the components of b are 2t minus 3 1 and minus t so now we have to evaluate this determinant so now we can expand by any row and column so we will expand it by first row now expanding this determinant using first row so we will get a cross b equal to i times the 2 by 2 determinant minus t 2t plus 1 1 and minus t so here we have deleted the first row and first column then minus j times t square 2t plus 1 2t minus 3 and minus t so here we have deleted first row and second column then plus k times the 2 by 2 determinant by deleting the first row and third column so t square minus t 2t minus 3 1 so we will simplify these 2 by 2 determinants and if we expand these determinants and simplify so we get i times minus t times minus t is t squared and minus 1 times 2t plus 1 is minus 2t minus 1 so really minus j into minus t cube minus 2t minus 3 into 2t plus 1 plus k times t square minus minus t this will be plus t times 2t minus 3. So i times t square minus 2t minus 1 minus j times minus t cube minus four t square plus two t minus six t minus three so plus k times t square plus 2t square minus 3t so which is equal to i times t square minus 2t minus 1 minus j times minus t cube minus 4t square plus 4t plus 3 plus k times 3t square minus 3t okay so this is a cross b in its simplified form so now we have to take the derivative of a cross b so this will be equal to i times the derivative of t square minus 2t minus 1 so this will be 2t minus 2 i and minus j times the derivative of this so this will be minus 3t square minus 8t plus 4 times j in plus 
सिक्स टी माइनस थ्री के और इसको फर्दर सिंप्लीफाई हम कर सकते हैं We can simplify it further. So we can simplify it further. Two t minus two i so a cross b will be equal to so we will so now we will take the derivative of a cross b so d by dt of a cross b so this will be equal to i times the derivative of t square minus 2t minus 1 which is 2t minus 2 so minus j times minus 3t square minus 8t plus 4 in plus k times 6t minus 3 so this is d by dt okay now we have to calculate we have to evaluate this derivative at t equals 1 so d by dt of a cross b will be equal to i times 2 minus 2 minus j times z minus 3 minus 8 plus 4 Plus k times six minus three. Okay, which simplifies to which simplifies to zero i minus minus seven j in plus three k. So which is equal to Seven j plus three k. So hence d by dt of a cross b is equal to seven j plus three k. So now in the third part, we have to find d by dt of mod of a plus b. So first of all, we will find a plus b. Again, is our vector a is t square i minus t j plus two t plus one k, and the vector function b is two t minus three i plus j minus t k. so a plus b will be equal to t square plus 2t minus 3i so here i am adding the corresponding components of the two vectors so plus minus t plus 1 into j so here i have added j components and then by adding the k components so we get 2t plus 1 minus t k. So let us simplify it further. So a plus b will be equal to t square plus 2t minus 3i plus minus t plus 1j 
in plus t plus 1 k okay so this is a plus b so now let us find a plus b mod so which is the magnitude of this vector so which is equal to the square root of t square plus 2t minus 3 whole squared plus 1 minus t whole squared plus t plus 1 whole squared okay so this is a plus b mod so now let us take the derivative of this expression okay so this will be equal to by using the power rule of differentiation so 1 by 2 times t square plus 2t minus 3 whole square plus 1 minus t whole square plus t plus 1 whole square to the power minus 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 minus 1 is minus 1 by 2 times the derivative of the whole thing under the square root sign which is t plus 2t minus 3 whole squared plus 1 minus t whole squared plus t plus 1 whole square so this is equal to 1 by 2 times the square root of t square plus 2t minus 3 whole squared plus 1 minus t whole squared plus t plus 1 squared into the derivative of this thing derivative of t square plus 2t minus 3 whole square will be 2 times t square plus 2t minus 3 into the derivative of inner function here will be 2t plus 2 similarly plus the derivative of 1 minus t whole square will be 2 times 1 minus t into minus 1 and plus the derivative of t plus 1 whole square will be 2 times t plus 1. So d by dt of a plus b whole mod will be equal to 1 over 2 times t square plus 2t minus 3 whole squared plus 1 minus t whole squared plus t plus 1 squared square root into 2t squared plus 4t minus 6 into 2t plus 2 minus 2 times 1 minus t plus 2 times t plus 1 okay so here we don't need to simplify this derivative further because we have to find its value at t equals 1 so we can easily substitute 1 in place of t over here without further simplifying this derivative so d by dt at of a plus b mod at t equals 1 will be 1 over 2 times square root of so replacing t everywhere with 1 so 1 plus 2 minus 3 whole squared plus 1 minus 1 squared plus 1 plus 1 squared into so 2 plus 4 minus 6 into 2 plus 2 
minus 2 into 1 minus 1 plus 2 into 1 plus 1. So we have replaced everything, every t with 1. Hence d by dt of a plus b will be equal to 1 over 2 times the square root of so this is 0 plus 0 plus 2 squared into 0 minus 0 plus 2 times 2 so this is equal to 1 over 2 times square root of 4 into 4 Okay, so which is equal to 1 over 2 times 2 into 4 so which is equal to 1 hence d by dt of a plus b mod is equal to 1 So now in the fourth part of this problem, we have to calculate the derivative of cross product of a and db by dt. So again, let us write the vector a which is t square i minus tj plus 2t plus 1. K and b vector is 2t minus 3i plus j minus tk. Okay, so this is b. So we have to first of all calculate db by dt. Okay, so let us differentiate this vector function. So, we will get 2i plus 0 minus k. So, this is 2i minus k. So, this is db by dt. So, now we have to take the cross product of a and db by dt. Okay, so this is equal to determinant i, j, k in the components of a are t square minus t and 2t plus 1 in the components of db by dt are 2 here j component is 0 and k component is minus 1. So we have to evaluate this determinant. So I can easily expand this determinant by using the third row here. So a times db by dt will be equal to Here 2 is the entry in third row and first column. So it will be positive. So 2 times j k minus t into t plus 1 then 0 and then minus 1 is entry in third row and third row and third column so it will be positive so minus 1 into the determinant i j t square minus t 
okay so let us simplify further so 2 times 2t plus 1 times j plus t times k in minus 1 times minus t i minus t square j. So, this is equal to 2 times 2t plus 1j plus 2t times k plus t i plus t square j. If we add like terms here, so we get and we will rearrange. So, first of all, let us write the ith component. So, t i and then plus 2 times 2 t plus 1 is 4 t plus 2 plus t square j plus 2 t, t k. So, this is a cross d b by d t. So, now we have to find the derivative of this expression again. Okay, so, we have to calculate. So, we have to calculate dB by dt of this expression. Okay, so, we have to calculate d by dt of a cross dB by dt. So, this will be equal to d by dt of this vector. So, this will be equal to 1i plus 4 plus 2t j plus 2k. Okay. So, which is equal to i plus 4 plus 2t j plus 2k. Now, we have to evaluate this derivative at t equals 1. So, at t equals 1, this will be equal to, so d by dt of a cross db by dt will be equal to i plus 6j plus 2k. So, here we have replaced t with 1. So, this is our required expression of d by dt of a cross db by dt. So, this is problem 10. Find d by dt of phi of t times a of t if phi of t equals 2t plus 3 and a of t equals 3ti plus t4j minus tk. Okay? So, here we have have to find the derivative of the product of two functions. But one is a scalar function and another is a vector function. Okay, so we have to find d by dt of 2t plus 3 times 3ti plus t4j minus tk. So, we have to find the derivative of this product. So, again, okay, so to find out this product, we will use the product rule of differentiation. Okay, so first of all, so so, 2t plus 3 as it is times the derivative of 3ti plus t4j minus tk plus 3ti plus t4j minus tk times the derivative of 2t plus 3. So, here we have used the product rule of differentiation d by dt of phi of t times a of t 
will be equal to 2t plus 3 times 3i plus 4t cube j minus k now plus 3ti plus t4j minus tk into 2 okay so we can simplify it further so we will multiply 2t plus 3 with 3i plus 4t cube j minus k so this will be equal to 6ti plus 84j minus 2tk plus 9i plus 12t cube j minus 3k and similarly here this vector times 2 will be equal to 6ti plus 2t4j minus 2tk okay so if we rearrange the like terms here so we get 6ti plus 9i plus 6ti and plus 84j plus 12t cube j plus 2t4j and k terms minus 2tk minus 3k minus 2tk okay so if we simplify them so this will be 6t plus 60 so this will be 12t plus 9i plus 8t4 plus 2t4 will be 10t4 plus 12t cube j and minus 2tk minus 2tk minus is minus 4tk minus 3k so we can also write it as 12t plus 9i plus 10t4 plus 12t cube j minus 4t plus 3k okay so this is d by dt of 5t times a of t So this is our required statement.